One charge level against NFTs, is there an involvement in money laundering? Welcome back to our channel Luxury Calling and today we're going to discuss how NFTs are used for wash trading and money laundering. It is difficult to imagine how NFTs are utilized for money laundering. All of the moving pieces are in place to make the process of processing and cleaning money as straightforward as possible. NFTs and Bitcoin trading provide a useful layer of abstractions for criminals are exceedingly simple to use, virtually free at the point of service, and come with a slew of privacy protections to boot. So, how do NFTs promote money laundering? The criminal organizations build a one-of-a-kind NFT and promotes it on an NFT marketplace. The criminal group acquires its own NFT from the NFT marketplace, adopting an alias that conceals its connections to itself. Repeat. There are a few more moving pieces to the process, but there are few and far between. And that is the general sketch of how NFT money laundering works. And organizations that uses NFTs to clean money will almost certainly use a huge network of cryptocurrency wallets and may even try to route the proceeds through a cryptocurrency exchange to add more steps between themselves and the final wallet. The connected cryptocurrency is clean once the NFT has been traded a few times. Furthermore, while blockchain technology makes identifying the original selling wallet simple, determining who truly controls the wallet is a very different story. Because know your customer and anti-money laundering rules are not present on all NFT markets. Anyone can register an account, make a sale, and remain anonymous. Criminals may also use stolen accounts for major NFT markets to provide credibility to a trade stealing into an account, making the sale, and then disappearing. Some people use the same method to artificially raise NFT prices. Each sale across linked accounts provide an opportunity to raise the sale value, driving prices higher than they should be. This technique, known as wash trading, is another form of NFT manipulations that is linked to money laundering and other forms of NFT fraud. Is it illegal to use NFT to launder money or to engage in wash trading? Absolutely. Simply because we're discussing Bitcoin assets doesn't mean that standard financial laws don't apply. Laundering the proceeds of crime in any way is unlawful, as is wash trading to artificially boost the price of a product. The issue is that the paper trail is considerably easier to conceal with cryptocurrencies and NFTs. It's worth noting that NFT money laundering isn't solely a cryptocurrency problem. Although NFTs have made money laundering easier, criminals have historically exploited rare or high-value artwork to launder money and conduct unlawful activities. Swapping high-value items is a reasonably straightforward way of moving money across entities, especially if the object's value can be adjusted to your liking. Furthermore, considering the massive volume of NFT transactions that occurs every day, the notions that most NFT trading facilitates some type of illicit enterprise is wildly exaggerated. Consider art forgery. Forgery occurs in the world of NFT art, just like it does in the world of art. Indeed, forging NFT art is a straightforward procedure, as most digital art can be plagiarized with a few clicks. When stolen digital artwork is stored to a computer, it is posted to an NFT marketplace and sold as an original. How can money laundering with NFTs be stopped since it is such an easy process? In reality, there is no clear answer. Artists and authorities go tremendous lengths in the real world to track and secure artwork. The art loss register track loss and stolen art around the world and prohibits it from being sold at reputable auction houses. There has been some success in identifying cryptocurrency wallets used in earlier crypto-based hikes, rendering the wallet holdings the cryptocurrency too hot to move any currency form, effectively negating the benefits obtained from TEF. Some NFT markets include KYC or AML, while others go above and above to ensure that each creator is properly validated. However, for every NFT marketplace that takes such precautions, another handful will not allowing anyone to open an account and sell whatever they want at whatever price they want. NFTs, without the questions, are here to stay. However, they are expected to face further regulations as governments throughout the world try to combat their use in money laundering, tax evasions, internet fraud, and other illicit activity. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Do you think this issue will be solved soon? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.